Aluminium is all around us, from the smartphone in your hand to the airplane flying overhead. But have you ever wondered how this amazing metal is made? How does a common rock turn into something so essential in our lives? Join us as we explore the incredible journey of aluminium, from deep underground to the everyday items we use. Aluminium is all around us, but doesn't come naturally in its pure form. It begins as bauxite, a rock rich in aluminium. This metal is light, strong, and endlessly recyclable. These features make aluminium useful for everything from cars to gadgets. Let's see how this metal transforms from a rock into the essential items we use every day. To get aluminum, we first need to find a rock called bauxite. This rock is rich in aluminium ore and is usually found in warm, tropical areas. Big machines dig deep into the ground to collect the bauxite. After it's extracted, the bauxite is transported to a special plant where it will be processed further. This is the very first step in turning bauxite into the aluminum we use in so many things. Once the bauxite is collected, it's taken to a processing plant where it's crushed into a fine powder. This powder is then mixed with chemicals in a process called the Bayer process. The chemicals help separate the aluminum oxide from the rest of the bauxite. The result is a white powder called alumina, which is a key step in making pure aluminum. This refined alumina will be used in the next stage to produce the aluminum we see in everyday items. After refining, the alumina is ready for smelting. In this process, the alumina is placed in large containers called electrolytic cells, where it's mixed with a substance called cryolite and exposed to a powerful electric current. This current breaks down the alumina, separating the aluminium from the oxygen. The result is pure, molten aluminium that collects at the bottom of the cell. This molten aluminium will then be cooled and solidified for further use in making various products. After the aluminium is melted, it needs to be shaped. This is done by pouring the liquid aluminium into molds to make big blocks called ingots. Once the aluminium cools and hardens in these molds, it can be cut into smaller pieces if needed. This step is important because it turns the melted aluminium into solid forms that can be used to make different products, like car parts or kitchen tools. Once the aluminium ingots are ready, they go through a process called rolling or extrusion. In rolling, the ingots are heated and pressed between large rollers to make thin sheets. In extrusion, the aluminium is pushed through special molds to create shapes like tubes or wires. These methods help turn the solid aluminium into various forms that can be used in many products, from cans and packaging to parts for cars and electronics. One of the best things about aluminium is that it can be recycled again and again without losing its quality. When aluminium products are no longer needed, they can be collected and melted down. This melted aluminium is then used to make new products. Recycling aluminium saves energy and reduces waste, making it a very eco-friendly choice. Thanks to its ability to be reused endlessly, aluminium plays a big part in helping protect the environment. Aluminium is an incredibly versatile metal and can be found in many places around us. It's used in building materials like window frames and roofing because it's strong and lightweight. You'll also find it in transportation, from cars and airplanes to bicycles, helping to make them more efficient. In your kitchen, aluminium is used in things like foil and cookware. It's even in electronics, like phones and laptops. Aluminium's strength and lightness make it an important part of countless everyday items. Aluminium is truly a remarkable metal with a journey that transforms it from a simple rock into a crucial part of our lives. From its beginnings as bauxite to its final form in everyday products, aluminium's versatility and strength make it indispensable. Whether it's in your smartphone, your car, or even the building you live in, aluminium plays a key role. So next time you encounter aluminium, remember the impressive process it went through to become an essential part of modern life. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the fascinating world of aluminium. We hope you've enjoyed discovering how this incredible metal goes from a rock in the ground to the everyday items we rely on. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, comment, 
and subscribe for more insights into how the things around us are made. See you in the next video.